Hello, this is Robot Mega Sexy, and this is more Super Duper Pooper Smash Bros. As you can see, I have these today, 9-17-2020, the unfortunate year. Well, let's get it going. This is um, the most recent of the batch. It's like four or five replays uh, ending in some kind of crazy free-for-all where I uh, play as Wario, which is pretty cool. So, uh, we got Lucas versus King DDD. My boy. Um, I may even hate on this character myself, but I f am still surprised with uh, things I come up with. Uh, most recently, um, I've been like trying to combo with Gordo off ledge for kill confirms. Which is something I haven't explored too much. And it's, it's just fun. There's like a lot of stuff you can do with the character even though he obviously has uh, a lot of weaknesses. But that's why you get sev secondaries in the third areas and all that shit. I've been trying to use Wario more. That is zero DI on that Lucas. He just died at 90. Uh, he he could have. I really think he could have survived that. But um, we're in the Wild West Wi-Fi out here. So if that if that does happen, it happens. I'm pretty familiar with the Lucas matchup at this point. Oh, 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 we catch him with that. That is a free stock. I think King Deity does have some pretty strong ledge gimmicks. Um, the, the kind of powerful ledge gimmicks that would even rival Piranha Plant. Um, I'm going to inhale Lucas and suicide for the lame, the lame victory, but it's still funny. It's still good. And now I fight this King K. Rule with my DDD. I, I love fighting K. Rule with DDD because it's, it's, it's like, it's a pretty even matchup, but DDD has a very distinct advantage. But if since they're both super heavyweight monsters, like literally monsters, if I'm not careful, uh, K. Rule can capitalize on his uh, rage or, you know, uh, they buffed his forward at, K. Rule's forward at quite a bit. Um, I think he does get me with some cheesy stuff here. I will kill him with that up smash and the crown toss mix up, which is pretty great. That's a very early stock for me. Alright, I try to combo the jab into it, but K. Rule's armor prevents me from doing that. Uh, up tilt is pretty free in this matchup for King DDD. I'm going to suicide there. I'm going to SD like at the bottom of the stage. And that evens things up quite a bit. It's different if they SD. I'm way less likely to save it then. Uh, almost catch him on the ledge. Almost kill, but not quite. But uh, if I suicide, or SD as it's called, uh, also known as Sword Dance in the Pokemon community, uh, yeah. Oh, he's gonna get me with that vacuum gimme. But I should, yep, I finish his stock real quick with the invincible dash attack. Upon re respawn. That's pretty nice. He's gonna get that armor in there, which is real nice. The K rule. Oof. He's pretty decent with that reflector. You will get that with me. Uh, get that. Or get me with that. I'm dyslexic or something. Um, yeah, we both throw our big meaty projectiles. Miss. Just spacing everything. Uh, inhale is pretty safe, and Gordo throw is pretty safe. I do get a jumping jet hammer. Ooh, and we combo Gordo into like a jet hammer hit. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm not actually like finishing the stock with Jet Hammer, but I did like 50% damage or something. Did a ton of damage. Uh, inhale is too slow to uh, grab the crown there, which is great for K. Rule. Um, the bouncing Gordo hits him. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. Like the um, if 
you hold in while going side B, the, the Gordo will bounce really close to you, and that is what I call quote-unquote Gordo armor. Uh, when it bounces in front of you, so any brawler, anybody who's dash grabbing in front of you is going to get hit. Uh, but you do that off stage, and it projectiles combo like they literally projectiles can literally combo with like any move in the game in this game. So if I hit them off stage with Gordo, I can hit them with down air. I can hit them with Nair. It just happened uh, to be that Nair was strong enough to wipe out that uh, K rule stock. This is the first match with that Lucas, I believe. Um, yeah, he gets a really sweet 31% combo with down throw there. Um, like I said, I'm pretty familiar with the Lucas matchup. Uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas can still combo around me with its, uh, his small body and his pretty powerful multi-hit attacks. Like that Nair he's got. Like the, the weaker Palantina Nair, basically. He's got, like, some kind of weaker DK uh, headbutt for an up air too. He's he's a real cute character. Um, if if you're a scrub, this character and Inkling will just dominate your life because there are some special attacks that are just so gosh darn cheesy that if you're a scrub, you'll just die every time. And I think that's like Inkling Roller, and it's the Lucas Ice move. I very accurately aim that jump <laughs> to destroy that Lucas. Uh, you can kill people with the landing hit. Like I do think, um, I do think DD's specials are pretty good in this game. I'm gonna kill myself with my own Gordo. Bad habit. It's not good. Um, we should play a little safer. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel pretty decent about this. We get that perfectly spaced back here. Oh, he almost spikes me from zero, but up B is so decent that I'm able to get back. Bam! We swing and a hit. That's great. We get that. That, uh, you know, that taunt where he gets the, uh, the belly laugh and spins the hammer. It's good stuff. So I'm a stock up, which is like if you're a heavyweight and you're a stock up on Wi-Fi, it's like pretty much curtains. Like obviously Lucas can do stuff, um, but with the impaired reaction time and DDD just being like a cheese king, I mean he's not as cheesy as like Ness or something, in my opinion. But yeah, that buff down tilt is so great. I'm going to try to try to kill with that, but uh, just release. Um, get a really nice inhale. I'm trying to inhale combo into up air, but I'm not quite getting it. Uh, inhale into forward air is pretty real, though. I should probably try that next time. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill myself with my own Gordo, aren't I? I can smell it. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> that is crazy. Like, okay, so I go for a Hail Mary, like, up air at ledge, because I know he's just going to charge down smash. And the extended hitbox, I guess, like, allowed me to hit him. And be the up air was buffed in the patch, the 8.0 or whatever, so it's good stuff. He was at 150%. I was at, like, 150% at least, so we're, we're both uh, raging. Got our rage on. Uh, very close match there with the Lucas. Really cool. I think this will be the one to wrap up the video. This four-player free-for-all with items. We got Mewtwo, Mario, Wario, and Lucas. I am the vanilla Wario, the biker Wario. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to bike straight into Lucas's up smash. I don't think this is the same Lucas player. I think it was a different arena because it was items. Or, well, the items are actually turned off. I think I would have oddly preferred it if the items were turned on in this free-for-all type situation. Because if you're playing with stocks and multiple players, um, 
whoever camps the hardest is just going to win. Like, that's basically a hard reality in this game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be really awesome with Wario, though. I'm gonna slap- I'm gonna slap the fuck out of that Mewtwo. It's dead, man. Like, most Pokemon in the world, uh, catch- catch that big cartoon hand. Get it. Oh, I'm gonna chew on Mewtwo. I do freaking love Wario in this game. He finally gets... Uh, a toolkit that makes him like real close to top tier in my opinion at least high tier I, I think I nair that Lucas when he didn't have a jump I lose my shield I somehow kill that Lucas real quick with the nair gimp or uh, not nair forward air the stinky foot attack as I like to call it with Wario and as you can tell up air at a shield and like up B at a shield it's pretty nice. It's, it's helping me get out of like a lot of situations. There's my skillful air dodge. Damn! Oh, <laughs> oh god. That's the moment of the match where I, I, I just run off and fart. And it is so... They die so goddamn fast. They die so quick. That it's hard to even know what happened. Like on YouTube we can rewind it and shit and that's cool. But... And then like... <laughs> Me getting frozen like a scrub? Priceless, priceless. I'm gonna catch that uh, that full Lucas up B attack because I missed that edge guard. And now I'm basically um, it's it's gonna it's down to the the three of us here since Mewtwo has one stock. Mario is getting a lot of damage on me. I'm gonna get the sour back air. He hits me with the up B. Mario's up B is so strong. And his up air is also really strong too. Super strong character. Always like the Wario though. As you can see, the uh, ultimate version of up B out of shield, I can just just get out of there. I'm almost gonna die from that Mewtwo attack. Gonna hit Mewtwo with the bike. I'm gonna get hit by that Mewtwo tail. I'm getting bounced around like a ping pong. Ah, man. If only I hit the back air on Mario there, I think he would have actually died. But I went for Nair instead. Like, I was probably just mashing, to be honest. So I'm gonna get hit hard by, like, all this multi hit. Oh, and the fireball, and then the stupid up smash from Lucas. And now, now it looks like Mario is gonna camp it to win, because he is one stock. And that is. That is a, that, that's a cold, hard reality of uh, free for all mode. If. if I think. I don't know, like. Free for all mode is almost better with time on. Uh, he does cape Mewtwo to death with the Shadow Ball, which is pretty nice. Try to edge guard and eat an up B again. It's not looking too bad. However, it, it does seem that the Lucas and Mario are gonna team attack me, which is pretty fucking annoying. But this is this is like free for this is not only free for all, this is free for all Wi-Fi. Which is like the scummiest option of all. So I really have no reason to be surprised by that. I'm gonna completely mess up my fart, just waste it. Um, the, it it's real, real tough when you throw away your fart because you're gonna have to camp again to get it back. And I'm just, I'm too offensive in my blood, so I'm gonna keep running at him. At the, that up, yeah, the shield is so fucking good. I'm, I'm shaking that ass. I get him with the nair. Ooh, god, that was good. That was good. That was a... We traded blows there. That was quite good. So there, there's some real nice kills for me here, but, um... Mario's at zero, and I'm like almost 100, and Lucas is camping, and he's obviously going to team attack me because I'm the strongest one. And we're in the Wild West out here, and that's just how it works. Uh, I'm gonna up air... Not kill. Lucas is quite weak. But Mario's is still at zero because nobody has the balls to confront the uh, the the winning character. We only have like I don't know. We have four minutes left. I I could definitely camp more considering the timer, but I am just I'm just throwing out those dash attacks because I'm trying desperately to get some damage on Mario. And there we go. Dash attack to forward smash to dash attack. That's like almost 50 percent. That's pretty great. I'm gonna jump above Mario, which is a big mistake. Mario is like the anti-air character along with Piranha Plant. Like, 
pretty much all the Mushroom Kingdom characters have very strong anti-airs. Oh, damn. So that's when... God, that's... That's when you go for the fart and you just shit your pants. Like, that, that, I did it again where I wasted the fart, and that's gonna be really bad. That's gonna be really bad for me. Um, I could... I could potentially camp out since there's still three minutes on the timer. But like I said, it's not real, really in my blood. Uh, however, I should consider it <laughs> because I'm at 137. It's looking very bad for me, but I'm... Okay, so... What what shall happen? I'm gonna... Go for a really unsafe... Okay, so a huge anti-climax. I go for the really unsafe bite move. He punishes with, like, Nair or something. And then, and then he nares me again while I'm off stage on, on the bike. And, like, I didn't have any jumps. Because I, like, I think I double jumped into bike and he just, like, nared me to death. So, <laughs> Wario just, like, eat, eats shit and dies. In classic Wario fashion. Which, Wario's the kind of character we don't mind losing with because he's so fucking hilarious. Like, if he dies... He probably deserves it, you know? He's just that kind of a character, so I don't even feel bad. Which is delightful. I kind of feel that way about Samus, too, because Samus is the scum of the earth. I really dislike Samus, personally. But anyway, that's, that's going to be the video. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.